Hey guys, this is Versatile from VST Power now holds it on the Money and Phoenix game channel. In today's video tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can take your Nook tablet and that could be the 8 gigabyte version or the 16 gigabyte version and update that upgraded to Cyanogen Mod 10.2. I saw some other videos on YouTube and I did a lot of research on my own and after much frustration I finally figured out, figured out excuse me the secret sauce on how to do this and you too will be able to reproduce my steps and uh, do the same thing too. So how do you get started? First thing is let's go ahead and go to this link and download the latest version of this program called um, free partition software mini tool partition wizard the reason why we want to get this program is to make sure that our SD card is partitioned properly in the beginning and in the future if you want to resize your partitions for your data you can also easily use this program to do that second item is we need a program called win 32 disk imager this is a program that you use to basically write your bootable image to your SD card so go ahead download and install this program as well and I forgot for this other program download it and also install that too it's pretty simple now the last one is this uh, there's a link in the more info section click here and you will see this WordPress blog article and when you take a look at it it looks complicated it looks really busy and I spent lots of hours trying to understand this thing and reading a different form so let me just cut to the BS and cut straight to the, what you guys really care about so what I ended up doing me personally is I went down to this SD card image here and at the time of this recording they had this link for this um, this image file so what I did was I clicked on the mirror here to Mediafire and I downloaded that file so let me click on that so you guys see exactly what that looks like and for, if for whatever reason if the link is broken in the future let me know because I am definitely going to keep a copy of this um, file as well so what you do is you go ahead to the Mediafire download that file to your computer and you are good to go so let me just go back to the WordPress article in a second here and then after you download that it has some really basic instructions here but the bottom line is what I ended up doing was I downloaded that file which is a zip file and I right clicked it and I went to 7-zip or you can use whatever zip program you have and I said extract here and what it did it creates a image file so let's go ahead and walk through the steps on the computer just to get you started and over here um, there is some instructions about how you could download these additional zip files for expanding your SD card and formatting the data one I technically have done this and not done this and my bottom line conclusion is you don't have to really do that okay because when you create your when you burn the boot image it actually makes these partitions now if for some reason you're having issues with the partitions afterwards okay go ahead follow these instructions and do the format but for sake of time I did not do that and it's working out fine so what I want to do is go ahead and run the partition manager. So let's go ahead and do that. Click on mini tool partition wizard. And I am assuming you have your SD card uh, mounted in your computer right now. I actually have a USB um, um, thumb drive that actually takes an SD card and reads it. So this is my disk right here. So what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead, right click on it, delete all partitions. Make sure you are deleting the partitions for the correct disk. Do not accidentally select your other hard drives and delete it. That would be bad. And this is actually a 2 gigabyte micro SD card. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to click on create partition on the left hand side. And I want to make sure it's a FAT32. Logical. Make it a primary. Partition label. I'll just call it boot. And then you can use auto space and click OK. Then click on this big check mark for apply. Apply it. Yes. And then it's going to go ahead and do the following where it just makes a partition format it properly make it a primary partition which is uh, just making sure that everything is good to go before you burn the image okay great and we can actually close this program we don't need it anymore so go back to your win disk 32 so I'm gonna go ahead and run it in the executable this is what it looks like make sure you select the correct drives so my drive is actually letter G it might be different on your PC click on this folder icon navigate to where your image file is so here's my CM 10.2 image file click on the save button then click on the right button it's gonna say are you sure you want to continue say yes and it is going to proceed to write this image file to your micro SD card now I've only tested it with a 2 gigabyte card I have not tried a bigger card so if you guys are burning the image and then after we get through this whole process you are seeing that you are not using all the space on your card 
let me know like I said at this WordPress article there are some really basic instructions here on how you can go ahead and run the zip file to expand your partitions and format it but um, when you do burn the boot image file it does automatically create these partitions so you might be good to go now one one thing I do want to note is I am not a CM 10.2 expert I spent like two three hours through this whole modding process trying to understand how it works how all the different partitions work so if you have really nitpicky questions about how to resize the partitions and make it work properly because I had a lot of issues with that myself and I never got through that successfully I highly encourage you to either make a forum post at the Cyanogen mod website or go ahead and make a post here on this uh, word blog post and the author will get back to you hopefully and help you with your questions so I am in the process of burning this uh, boot image so what I'm going to do is momentarily pause the video and then we will return once I am done alright so we are back in action it just finished it probably took about maybe uh, two to five minutes something like that to burn the bootable image and you can go ahead and exit that program exit all your windows we're good to go so what we end up doing just to recap is one we use the mini tool partition wizard just to make sure that we got just one master partition and we formatted that second we burnt the image right that we had downloaded before from the website I showed you guys and third we got a bootable SD card so in this next portion of the video tutorial I'm gonna show you live of how this works and yes we're gonna boot this 10.2 and have a lot of good times so let's do this all right, so in this next portion of the video, I'm going to show you proof of me modding this Nook tablet. So here it is. Here's just a default OS. Um, it's on version 143. So let's go ahead, and I'm going to power this guy down all the way. Hold down the power button, power off. If you guys are curious, here's my little adapter I was talking about. I have an IO Gear adapter. This is what I use to connect my SD card, my micro SD card. Okay, so let's go ahead, insert the micro SD card when the Nook tablet is powered down. So do that in a little corner there. Excellent. And now turn it on. And if all is right in the world, the Nook tablet will automatically boot off of that SD card. And we already have a lot of good times. Sweet. We can clearly see it's working. We have the Sino Boot Universal Loader. If you want to, you can hold down the N for the menu. That's where you can navigate in this menu structure, run additional zip files that you may have downloaded from the internet. But for purposes of this video, we don't have to do that. At least I don't have to. Oh, I mean, I didn't do that. Okay, so here we can clearly see it's working. Look at this. Cyanogen mod. Awesome. And then what about maybe like 30 seconds or so, this boot screen will be done. And it will take us into the main menu of getting started the wizard. Alright, so welcome. Great. So well, let me zoom in a little bit here. Okay. So basically I'm going to click on start. Oops, this one is asking me for a uh, login to my wireless, so I'm going to skip that for now, just to save time. Oops, skip it. But yeah, you can go ahead, you can add your wireless. Time, okay, whatever. I just want to show you guys real quick proof of concept, because I'm trying to keep this video as short as possible. So here we go. We can clearly see that it's working. We're in the main menu. Here's all your different apps. Yes, it comes with the Google Play Store by default, which is awesome. If you want to go back to the main menu, press your end button, and there you go move around you know here's take a look at the apps one more time okay oh why do you keep on going to albums I keep on clicking that my mistake okay click OK down there here you go so here's the different apps so you got let me just zoom out a little bit guys sorry about that so here's all the different apps there and then you can go ahead and add new apps um, it's got the Google Play Store which is awesome and that's pretty much it. If you want to check your amount of space you have left on your SD card, what you can do is press here, go to System Settings, go down to uh, Storage, go down here, and we can see that it made a partition of 731 megabytes for my total space for SD card. It might be different for your SD card for your SD card because you might have a different size than mine. But that is the mod in general. If you were to power down, take out the SD card. And when you boot the Nook, it'll go back to the original OS. So basically, you got to have your SD card in to run the Cyanogen mod, and you're good to go. So that's how you do 10.2. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.